You know, both successful uh, comedians. Have you had bad shows in the past? Shows where you just couldn't make it work? Yeah, a lot. One, <laughs> one was violent for me. I was opening up for my friend's band uh, called Man Man, and uh, I was doing a joke about uh, wrestling and Hulk Hogan and uh, some guy who looked like a wrestler. He looked like the wrestler Tugboat. Uh, ran onto stage and picked me up and then body slammed me. Um, and then I thought that was the worst that could happen. And then he pulled down his uh, sweatpants and uh, it just tried to sit on my face. Wait, <laughs> underwear? No. Do you wear underwear with sweatpants? This guy didn't. <laughs> and he tries to start, and no one's helping me, so I grab a mic stand that got knocked over and I'm holding it up like this, which his cheeks then collapse around. Oh my God. And it's so close to my face, and I'm screaming, and it's... Why is he doing... I mean, so he... Was... I don't know. Cause, okay. Because I'm really funny, and that was the way he showed love as a wrestler. <laughs> it's the only way he knows how. And there's no security? There's no one there? Did anyone there try to help security. you at all? No one tried to help me. There was one girl who took my shoe. <laughs> what? My, my foot was at the edge of the stage. Some girl took my shoe, and then afterwards, I was like, why didn't anybody help me? They're like, oh, I thought you knew him. <laughs> And so I, I did the shoe. Someone found it at the bottom of a garbage can uh, without the laces. And then I was uh, walking down the street in New York trying to find a place where I can buy some shoelaces. And then I saw the guy coming up to me and I got really scared. And uh, he, he walked up to me, he's all, that was great. They really hated me. It was like a wrestling match. <laughs> That's not what so he told. does that when he, he just, he just loves to participate when he's watching comics perform? I think so. I think he's just all about showbiz. Yeah. yeah. I like the idea of someone who's at a comedy show and someone's sitting on their face and they're like, well, I needed to buy shoelaces. I think I could just get that guy's. <laughs> <laughs> He's not yeah. using them. <laughs> get his shoe, get his shoe. The perfect crime. I had this one. I was in Chicago and I had a show at a gay bar um, and there was gay porn playing everywhere. I didn't know it was a gay bar. <laughs> Hold it. It was called Jackhammer. <laughs> How you went to a club called Jackhammer and you didn't know it was a, a gay bar. Did you think it was like for construction workers? Yeah. I was like, that's why they're all shirtless, you know? They're hard day of laying down the blacktop. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to have fun. The picture outside was a naked guy just with a jackhammer. So many clues, Conan. Um, <laughs> but I'm in there and there was gay porn playing at while I'm performing. That should have been the other clue. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't you think? By the time I saw the gay porn, I was pretty sure I knew what I was dealing with. Right. But it was very distracting. And I've never seen gay porn. It's not my thing. It was very distracting for everybody, but it's also distracting for me because I'm not into gay porn, but these guys are the best at it, you know? <laughs> these are like professionals. Like, I don't love juggling, but if someone's like, these are award-winning jugglers, I'm gonna be like, I'll give them 40 seconds, see what they're about. I'd imagine... Like, they're doing things I've never yeah. seen before. Yeah. That's a fair point. They're right? very good at what they do. Yeah. They're the best at what they do. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so, uh, so you were distracted and you found yourself not doing the act and just watching the no, photography I, for a while. I did my act, but every now and then I would look at like... Cause, cause the, the thing is, I'm not into juggling, but everyone else at the bar is like, we really love juggling. Yeah. So they're very, in I bombed, didn't do well. And the right. next day the booker called me, was like, that was great, you wanna come back and do it again? I was like, no, I'm never coming back. <laughs> yeah. If you don't go back, you're homophobic. You should go back. I've, I've messed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll invite my mom to the show. Yeah.